Hello, and we are back again. I've activated a bunch of robots for Walt Disney, and now it's time to get out of the world's most unhappy place. Hello, Walt Disney. Your work here is done. Return to the Lucky 38 so we can discuss next steps. You have a very bright future ahead of you. Thanks to your actions today, so does the rest of mankind. Uh, okay, but speaking of my future, what do I do now? Do I go back to Little Caesar and tell him that everything is cool? Oh, yeah, yeah, I blew up that thing. Uh, no, you don't need to go down and check. It's it's blown up. It's super blown up. I mean, Little Caesar knows I've been working for Dr. House in the NCR. He even gave a whole list of all the stuff I'd done. You've carried out Kaisar's will, but I must confiscate your equipment again. Oh, uh, sure, yeah, I carried out Kaisar's will. You're free to leave. Thanks. I'm going. Don't go down there to check it out. It's totally done. That thing you told me to do. Blow, blow up the place, you said. Well, well, that is exactly what happened. There was a big explosion, and there was fire, and I was running away in slow motion, and it was all like, pew! And you could hear the music in the background, like a guitar, but it out. And, um, that was playing on my Pip-Boy, though. So I'm not embellishing it. That's how it really went. Okay, I gotta get this story straight before I go talk to Kaisar. Um, okay, so I don't know if there's any rock and roll channels on the Pip-Boy. I, I know there's country, and there's, like, another country. Uh, okay, Veronica, you gotta stay out here. All right. Again, just scream if anything goes wrong. Okay, so there was an explosion, and I was running away, and it was like slow motion, and, and uh, my hair was loose. I was beautiful. I felt the ground shake a while ago. I'll take that as a sign you've got the job done. Oh. Let's press on, shall we? Yeah. As I was telling you before, I want Mr. House out of the picture. Oh, you okay. have an interest in his death, too. Really? If he knows that you destroyed his gadgets beneath the fort, he will strike back. Oh, yeah, he will. You know where to find him. How he dies, I leave up to you. Yeah. Grr. But, hey, just in case I leave and never come back because you're terrifying for a woman, can I ask you some questions? What did you want to know? Well, big thing first. I mean, obviously Dr. House is gonna kill me for this thing that you put me up to. Which, which I did because it had so much benefit to me. But once I help you kill Dr. House and the NCR, what exactly do you plan to do with the Mojave? I used Imperial Rome as the model for my legion precisely because it was so foreign, so alien. Okay. I'd seen what had become of the NCR's attempts to emulate the culture of pre-war America. Uh-huh. The infighting, the corruption. Right. Rome was a highly militarized autocracy that effectively integrated the foreign cultures it conquered. Right, corruption it and... It dedicated uh, its citizens to something higher than themselves. To the idea of Rome itself. Well... In Rome, I found a template for a society equal to the challenges of the post-apocalyptic world. A society that could and would survive. What era of Rome? A society Rome? that could prevent mankind from fracturing and destroying itself in this new world. By establishing a new Pax Romana. Okay, what? Clearly this is an ideological thing. Explain Pax Romana. It means a nationalist, imperialist, totalitarian, homogenous culture that obliterates the identity of every group it conquers. Homogenous? Long-term stability at all costs. The individual has no value beyond his utility to the state, whether as an instrument of war or production. Okay, so you'll destroy the NCR because you think it's inefficient, or what? No. I'll destroy it because it's inevitable that it be destroyed. It's Hegelian dialectics, not personal animosity. So more ideological stuff. Okay, explain. How do I put this basically enough? It's a philosophical theory. The kind you might encounter if you took time to read some books. Oh, oh The fundamental oh. premise is to oh. envision history as a sequence of dialectical conflicts. Each dialectic begins with a proposition a thesis, which inherently contains or creates its opposite, an antithesis. Thesis and antithesis. The conflict is inevitable, but the resolution of the conflict yields something new, a synthesis, eliminating the flaws in each, leaving behind common elements and ideas. My, what a charmingly idealistic ideal. Great. The bombs wiped the slate clean. No, the bombs exploded. Human civilization descended to a level of ignorance that effectively set our cultural progress back to zero. Debatable. The NCR has all the problems of the ancient Roman Republic. Extreme bureaucracy, corruption, extensive senatorial infighting. You just said Rome was just perfect. Just the ancient Republic 
It is natural that a military force should conquer and transform the NCR into a military dictatorship. Because it works so well for Rome. Thesis and antithesis. The Colorado River is my Rubicon. The NCR Council will be eradicated. But the new synthesis will change the Legion as well. From a basically nomadic army to a standing military force that protects its citizens and the power of its dictator. Of course, with no medicine or whatever, let's talk about something else. What else then? Let's talk about me going away because you are crazy. Complete your mission, then return to me. Uh, right. And about that crazy thing, I didn't say it. I'm moving along. Oh, Looking real forward to doing your bidding and then coming back here and getting put in bondage and then passed off to some soldiers so they can make me pregnant and then, oh my god, I'm not doing any of that. Let's get out of here, Cass! Let's hit the road. Yes, the road! Let's hit it and let's never look back! So that was a pretty enlightening trip. On my list of things never to do, buy from Little Caesars is on the very top. Those guys went nuts! I have a present for you from the Powder Gangers. I hope you like dynamite. Oh yeah, I'm pretty good with dynamite, actually. Uh, so are you gonna come over here, or do I go to you? Oh, you mean you plan to kill me with dynamite. See, the way you said it, it sounded like it wasn't very passionate, and I thought you were gonna give me a gift of dynamite. I'm really popular in a lot of places, you know. Gosh, you know, you could have had me there, but then you shot at me with your dinky little handguns from a far distance away, and... Well, it's all about to go downhill for you guys now. Sorry, buddy. I've run into much more intimidating things than a shirtless dude with a biker helmet and striped socks. So on my way out to Little Caesar's Ford, I passed by this way earlier. There was a woman who walked out there and got attacked by Cazadors. Thankfully, they're not there in force right now. But I walked up this hill, and I found a grave, and the grave whispered to me. I needed a shovel to get the grave open, and I thought to myself, I must come back here. Oh! Bird. Chance's grave. Huh. I guess he was some kind of great con. I don't really care about the uniform very much, but the knife is pretty snazzy. Da na 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 na. Little Diddy, about Jack and Diane. Gonna talk to Diane because she's the one who I started talking to originally. Hello, Diane. Anders told me what happened. We owe you one for rescuing him. Tell you what. I can give you caps as a thank you, or a special recipe Jack cooked up. Caps. Caps. Definitely the caps. Here you go, you've earned these. With Anders out of commission for so long, we're short-handed on runners, and some backlogs have piled up. We've got an associate in the Crimson Caravan Trading Company, who distributes for us in out of Vegas. He's been after us for a new shipment. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can take it out to him. Great. Here's the package. Your contact is Don Hostetler at the Crimson Caravan. Come back and see me when you're done. Okay. I need to head out that way anyway. I met this kid around here. His name is... Grumbles? Or something? Or maybe, like, Adam Sadsack? Whatever, he's got a comb over. Like Hitler. Anyway, he wants to be an artist, and I think to myself, instead of having this kid join some downtrodden military group that wants to get back at the world, what if I promote his dreams as an artist? I'm gonna put in a word with that girl with the mohawk and the followers of the apocalypse. Hey, Ringo. How's it going, bud? I see your health is down. Did you trip or something? Oh, well, doesn't matter. Talk to you later! Yep, that's me, friend of the Crimson Caravan. Nobody knows that I did anything, except for the Happy Trails Caravan, but they're gone now. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? Oh, well, I got this package here from Jack and Diane. Huh? Oh, oh, right, yeah. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, you should go now before you draw any attention. Okay. See you later, buddy. You're looking sharp in that suit, by the way. Next stop, Julie's Mohawk, and a plea to take in a very sad kid. Smoke rising from the east spells trouble. I hope the Legion isn't on the move. Nah, they're dumb. Hey, I know this boy. Do you want him? We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? Well, he, he kind of, um... Uh, he's got a lot of... sensitivity. Excellent. Ezekiel's been after me to find him a new assistant for ages. Tell the boy we'll take him. Oh, great, he's gonna be thrilled. Oh, as long as I'm here, can you provide any kind of medical service, please? What seems to be the problem? Well, my arms are all busted up and I'm bleeding and stuff. Okay, what level of care do you require? The full service, please. How have you been using the bathroom with your arms that messed up? Oh, forget I asked. 
It's mostly the robot thing. You might want to brace yourself. This might get a bit painful. Yeah, I've seen ways. I've been bitten by cyber dogs. Trust me, I know pain. Thank you. Anything else? I I know, I was actually just about to leave. Dot. Well, that's to you too, Julie. See you later. So I came up here and Cass got lost. Don't know where she went. Mr. House is just pleased as punch you got those old Securitrons back on mine, sugar. Oh, it's no problem, Lady Robot. Oh, by the way, I got some snow globes. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Oh, cool. 4,000 caps. Okay, that's all I care about. Uh, talk to you later, Robot Lady. Although, I guess you're technically at one with all the robots, so... I will see you everywhere that there is a robot. The foundation is laid. My Securitrons on the Strip are upgraded, and those at the fort ready for action. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups, while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. Aw, Walt Disney. Lesser groups? That's really hard on them. But okay, what do we do? Outside New Vegas, at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe known as the Boomer. Oh yeah, I've met them. They are, shall we say, aggressively reclusive. They have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. I know. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If it's going to fire on Hoover Dam, I want it firing at my targets. Who is? If not, then I want to make sure that the Boomers don't sign similar treaties to fire their guns in support of the NCR or Caesar's Legion. Okay, well, the NCR already set me on that, so it's done. Well done. The Boomer's firepower may prove an advantage when the battle for Hoover Dam comes around. Your next assignment won't take you far. It concerns the Omertas and their den of vice, Gamora. Now the place with the naked As people? the decisive encounter between the bull and the bear looms close, my concerns about the Omertas have grown. I've never expected loyalty, mind you. A reliably underhanded tribe is just as constant to deal with as one that always runs true. That, but that's uh... just it. Lately, the Omerta's cooperative silence has been deafening. Not a single complaint. They're up to something. Maybe they're planning your surprise birthday. But I could go check it out if you really are paranoid. The Omerta's are fanatically loyal to each other. Still, among any group, one can find the occasional degenerate. Very harsh. Gomorrah's receptionist happens to be one. For years, she passed on whispers of what was taking place at the casino in exchange for payment. A few months ago, she clammed up. Odds are she's scared. But I've had no way of approaching her. Start with her. You could use the robots with the cannons. But yeah, talking to Dr. House. Today I learned how to do medicine and bartering. And also, maybe, how to blow things out more efficiently. That's always a good thing to learn. It's really important because I've developed a three-tier strategy. The first tier is the handgun, and then the second tier is the marksman rifle for long-range attacks, and the third tier is, oh god, grenades, because sometimes things are very big. Or things are casadors. Both categories get the same treatment. But anyway, I'm seeing a notice. The Wrath of Kaisar. Also, don't tread on the bear. Caesar's Legion Infamy added. My pit boy is so up to date. How does it find out about these things? Also, how would they know whether or not I killed Dr. House? The NCR has a robust network of informants. Everyone will be angry if I keep working for Dr. House. So, okay. Maybe I won't do this Gamora job right now. Maybe I'll keep working for the NCR and I'll come back to this. I don't know what the NCR's problem is, though. It doesn't seem like they really have any conflict with Dr. House. So I got most of the way out here and I realized that Cass apparently didn't get the memo and she stayed in the Lucky 38. I don't know why she didn't say anything as I walked by her, but she didn't say anything. That means I'm gonna have to backtrack and go back to this strip and pick her up again, but I don't really feel like going back there right now. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty confident though. I could probably get around and not have a lot of problems. All I'm really doing is just a bunch of simple diplomacy with a bunch of armed drug traders. So no big deal, you know, I'd probably be fine. I mean, what's the worst they could do? They're not gonna take my brain out and make me battle with cybernetic canines, so... Pretty straightforward here. But anyway, here looks like a good place to stop for now.
Thanks for playing with me, everybody.